Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lockpad. And what are we on, Tuesday? Yes, we are. So today, <coughs> I've got a bit of a slight... <coughs> do apologise, bloody hell. Um, cup of coffee went down the wrong hole. Today, we're going to do slightly different. You get some people who love challenge locks, some people who love stock locks, some people who hate challenge locks, some people who don't like stock locks. But today, I'm going to satisfy both of you. Because we're doing both. We're doing a challenge lock and we're doing a stock lock. So everyone has a bit of their uh, thing for their own. They can go past the stock lock and watch the challenge lock. Or they can go past uh, they can watch the stock lock instead of the challenge lock. So I'm going to do both. But first of all, let's get the stock lock done. And I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, what time is it? We're on uh, 5 past 11 in the uh, morning. It's a fairly miserable day in Manchester. But I hope everybody's doing well. Today we are going to pick this stock um, disc lock. Now it says it's uh, stainless steel. Give me a minute. I've got a magnet in here. No, you're not. Stainless steel shouldn't be like that. Not proper stainless steel anyway. Um, from what I can see in this court, I do have a key for this somewhere, but I don't know where I put it um, because I've had this for years and I've never picked it, um, and it really needs to just get sent off to somebody. But I keep looking at that core, and it, even though it looks like it's brass, I think it's brass. Just sometimes you get that really weird stuff that turns out not to be brass, just a weird cast because they're cheap. But um, yeah, let's even get this picked. I'm not a fan of picking these, and not because of the lock itself, it's because they're so slippery to hold. Oop, we've got a little click from the back. I think we need... And I can't pick these in a vice neither. <laughs> no, the vice is not big enough to hold it the way I'd like it to. Let's go for a reset there. You generally find these on uh, containers and things, and most of them are, are proper makes, so they are tough under fire locks. You know, they, they can take an absolute good hammering. But I believe this one is a cheap Chinese knockoff. And not because it's just unbranded, it's just the way it feels. I wonder if I can pick it upside down. Just because uh, I'm having what you would call massive problems this thing. I think it's because it's the core so bad. Yeah, I can't pick it that way. <laughs> Can do um, American locks and other locks that way, but I can't do Yale side key keyways upside down. Pins are terrible in this thing. Oh, there, we're open. Well, wow. glad I got it open because this thing is awful. But I'll send it away if somebody wants it, smash it up, pull it apart, and pull the core out instead. Might be more interesting than just leaving it like that. There we go. That's down. Let's try this. Very nice. DKS. And it is from Keymaster. Number 95. There's the bitting. We've got some really nice bit in there. Some really nice highs and lows. Um, I've not picked an oval a uh, cylinder version one of these so this is going to be interesting and cool I'm going to use a long hook let's see what we can do oh got a little click from the back click 
from, oh, got a nice clip from uh, three. Possibility I might have to reset. Yeah, I'll have to reset. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with resetting instead of keeping the fight going. I find I get a better chance by resetting. Click off two. Oh, we've got a nice turn of the core off three. Zoom in a little bit. I'll turn on the core again. Another turn there. One's still not set in yet. Got a nice fault set going now. Oh, I'm open on one. Awesome. I'll move this over. Let's get our tray. We can lock this back up. Put this down there. Unzoom a little bit. Right. Um, so you need a screwdriver. Well, because I've not done a, a challenge lock for a while. I feel apologise for the noise. I'm looking for a screwdriver. Oh, and it's flat. You know what? Just dump them all out instead of faffing around. There we go. Uh, and I'm sorry the videos have slowed down on my channel. Um, I'm going to try and uh, start doing at least two a week instead of one. Um, just finding the time, that's all that is. I mean, I know I have another channel, uh, an RC channel, but that is not as difficult to upload because I have to go out to, to do that. Um, I only do reviews now and again, so... I don't need a, it's not as demanding to do as this one. I don't mean it like that. I mean, you know, because I have so many subscribers. I don't want to neglect anybody. Now, I think we've got this right to the edge. Give me that follower. There we go, we're through. We've done it. Let's have a look. We've got five, so we've got five pin lock. As you can see, everything needed to pick. We've got some really nice deep ones. Alright, let's get these pins dumped out and then we can see what they are. And the work's been done. It's been quite a long time since I've done a challenge lock. Let's have a look what they've done in here. Uh, how he's done. So we've got some undercutting in one, nothing in two or three or four, and nothing in five. It's just number one. 
Cool. Where's the tweezers gone? There we go. Let's see the magic of going on in here. Gotcha. Before you flew out the wrong way. Can't see there. This was a really fun pick. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed this. Well, like I say, I've not picked a. I've not picked a um, challenge lock in a long time. There was nothing done in there. From what I can see, that was a really cool lock. I enjoyed picking that. Let's have a look at these pins. So we've got a, um, it's like a double, it's like a Christmas tree but wider. Um, we've got a nice little serration on the key pin three, uh, two. We've got a bit of serration on four, uh, three, sorry. We've got another Christmas tree style spoolish at um, number four and number five is a standard. We've got a very nice deep serrated on one on the driver. We've got two serrations, uh, a very deep one on two, on three, we've got uh, it's a uh, serrations on wedding cake style at the top, on three, on four, it's a very small narrow spool, and we've got a, it's just like a, it's like a mushroom spool, it is a mushroom spool, and then we've got brass, 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 and steel springs. So yeah. I enjoyed that, that was a fantastic pick with both them locks. That this lock was a bit um, tricky with it being a, a knockoff. Um, but I will leave Keymasters a link in the description for his channel. He's a fantastic guy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope there's a bit there for everybody. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.